Today we wanted to visit with you about growing pansies, so we came to the experts. We're at Alton's Plant Farms in Jinx, Oklahoma with Sam Alton. And Sam, how long has your family been growing pansies? This is our 50th year in business, Sue. That's great. Well, it's a family tradition. I know a lot of people in the Tulsa area, if they want good pansies, they come to Alton's when fall arrives. But it's mighty hot when you have to seed these. How do you get started growing the pansies? Well, Sue, we start out by seeding in a seed flat and it's easy for me to remember my seeding date for pansies for the fall sales, July 19th. Okay. It's pretty difficult, pretty challenging to seed pansies that early in the summer because they are a cool weather plant and when we have nights in the 70s, 70 degree temperature, it's, it's challenging to get them to grow and to do well. It's, just, it's like growing anything. You have good years as well as bad years. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I noticed you have a, a really broad array here of, of different varieties. Are there some new varieties that have come along in the past couple of years that, that people tend to be favoring? I know originally most people think of pansies as a nice yellow face with a little dark blot in the center, but what are some of the trends in the pansy industry? I'm seeing more and more trend of using the solid color pansies where the, the Majestics is what people think of the, as the traditional pansy has the face on it. Uh -huh. The Crystal Bowl series, as well as the, the Crown series, they're all solid colors, and mm -hmm. they either come in a mixture or solid blues, yellows, reds, whites, what have you. I'm seeing more of a trend in people wanting that massive color. They have more flowers per plant. Okay. On the Crystal Bowl series, I've counted 25 blossoms on a mature plant. On a single plant? On oh, a that's plant. an amazing series then. Now, in the Crystal Bowl series, that's not just a single color we want to emphasize. That, that's right. a whole range of available colors. Right. right, there's about seven colors in the Crystal Bowl variety. Okay, that's great. In fact, we've uh, now there's also um, a black pansy available and an orange pansy. So if you want to be an OSU fan, I guess you could plant black and orange pansies, and um, right. and be patriotic. The the black pansy, it's it's such a deep dark purple that it it does look black. Uh -huh. The orange pansy, that's Podparaja. It's it's an intensely orange pansy. Those are novelty pansies. They're F2 varieties, second generation hybrid, and they're kind of persnickety okay. about getting to blossom. And because in the fall we're going from less, from more daylight hours to less, and what they require is more daylight hours. So those are available and they'll be in a, in bloom and they'll be available for spring sales. Okay, well that's something to keep in mind. You can buy pansies in the fall and then you buy them again in the spring. So there is a difference in the varieties that are marketed in the fall versus spring? Well, generally. Generally, okay. Um, when I was growing up, it used to be just people would overwinter pansies in cold frames and they would really only be available in the spring. Is this something in recent years that you can get them in the fall? No, Sue, this yes. dad's been selling been these for, for 50 years. years in the fall. In the fall. We okay. very rarely ever have a winter cold enough to damage pansies right. if they're established. Well, that's good. When, uh, about how late into the fall can people plant their pansies here? We, we recommend people planting, plant them up to mid-December. Okay. See, there's no heat in this house. I mean, I have heaters in it, but we don't use them for pansies. Uh huh. Just, just the protection from the from the Arctic blast, and they'll they'll do just fine. I'll come out here in in the uh, in the winter time and pick one of these flats up, and it'll be a, a solid block of ice. And the pansies will still be fine. Right. Okay, that's a pretty ideal fall plant then. In fact, that's what makes good pansies. Is, is that freeze? Sure. <clears throat> uh, well, tell me one one last thing. If people are going to come to a greenhouse and and buy some pansies, and they want a mass of color, what spacing do you suggest for to achieve that effect? On the smaller blossom pansies, such as the Crystal Bowl or the Crowns, <clears throat> I'd recommend a six to eight inch spacing. Okay. On the larger pansies, the Majestics, I'd go a little farther. I'd say eight to ten. Eight to ten. But allow that plant enough space to develop to its full potential. Okay. And so far as fertilization, do they need any special soil preparation? Yes. They 
they need a good a good amount of organic matter worked in the soil and that's pretty general of, of most plants mm -hmm. and then I believe strongly in using fertilizer when I plant anything okay all right well that gives you some tips from A to Z on pansies it, it's a chore to get them going in Oklahoma heat but we sure appreciate people like the Alton family who get them started for us so they're ready to plant in the fall and Sam thanks for spending time with us today. thank you Sue We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.